So you took some time away from WoW and you're coming back to Dragonflight and thinking, wow, there's a lot of changes to the interface and half my add-ons don't work anymore. Don't worry, because we've got you covered with the 10 most essential add-ons to hit the ground running. You know what I mean. Okay, so the first add-on on our list is Addy Bags. Addy Bags does take a bit of getting used to because it doesn't show you a big list of all your items, instead listing them categorically. It groups your items logically. Quest items with quest items, weapons with weapons, you get the idea. If you have gear sets, it even groups those items together so you don't actually sell them when vendoring items from your 677th Ice Crown Citadel Invincible run. The biggest thing that might actually be a bit overwhelming when you open it for the first time is the vast majority of currencies at the bottom. So to turn that off, you want to right click on any open area in your bag, go to plugins, currency, and then just untick any that you don't want to use. Small asterisk though, the add-on author does not have access to the current beta build where Addy Bags is actually broken. So if this add-on does not work immediately after launch, don't panic, it should be working soon. Hi, future Jesse here. Just wanted to show you a quick little thing in case Addy Bags doesn't actually work when Dragonflight launches, we have another little trick that I just found out about today. If you open your bags and you click this button here and you go to convert to combined bag, you get the functionality of Bagnon built right into the default UI. And you can click this little button, it'll auto sort for you. Plus, you can click on here, you can click on any one of your bags and then sort it by equipment, consumable, trade goods, junk, quest items. Uh, so it does give you most of the functionality of the top bag add-ons with the default UI. All right, anyway, that was it, bye. So the next add-on on their list is Altaholic. Altaholic is a great add-on for those of us who are, well, Altaholics. Dragonflight promises to be a much more alt-friendly expansion, so I expect a lot more people will be trying out a lot more alts, and Altaholic is wonderful for giving you access to a lot of really useful information on any of your characters. Want to know the total gold on all of your characters on the server? Altaholic has you covered. Need to know how much rested XP your non-max level alts have built up? Got you covered there too. Want to know what your total played time is? Now, you don't. You don't want to know that. It can also show you your bag usage and what is even in your other characters' banks, bags, and inventory. It can even show you what skill level your alts have in different professions and even what their riding skill level is. The list of useful features in Altaholic goes on and on, so I honestly would suggest anyone interested just grab this add-on and check it out for yourself. The next add-on on our list is called Auctionator. Auctionator is a simple one to justify because what are the two things that we need most in this world? time and money. Auctionator gives you both of those. Rather than taking a lot of time to explain, why don't I just show you how easy it is to clear out a bunch of old crafting materials from old expansions. Auctionator adds a couple of extra tabs onto your auction window. If you click on selling, you'll have a list of anything you can actually sell in the auction house. Clicking on an item will show you how many are currently on the auction house, and you can just click post and accept to post all of the items that you have. You can even make it simpler by hitting the space bar and then clicking the accept window. It even warns you when you would make more gold selling this to a vendor than you would on the auction house. Why did I add this as an essential add-on for Dragonflight? Well, you're sure to be collecting all sorts of bind on equip items or crafting materials, and Auctionator takes most of the work out of selling for the best prices. Posting auctions and finding sellable items in your bags, TLDR, you can post all your eligible stuff fast and get back to where you really want to be. Next, we have Rare Scanner, and Rare Scanner is one of the simpler add-ons on this list. It does exactly what it says. It scans for rares. As you're flying around a zone, Rare Scanner will keep an eye out and alert you with a little window when you are near a rare mob. Then you can take a look around and find where to go after it if you'd like to. How can I find this rare now that I know it's nearby? Well, don't worry because we have you covered with handy notes. Okay, so you're not actually covered with handy notes. Your map is. Um, anyway, handy notes is another simple one that's going to be very helpful in Dragonflight. There's not really a lot to say here. It's very easy to set up and forget. Just install it and you have handy notes placed all over your map with treasure locations, rares, etc. There are a lot of plugins for expansions, holiday events, etc. So make sure to check out all the other options as well. But for Dragonflight, you just need, well, Dragonflight for now anyway. Following that up is a similar add-on called Tomcat Tours. This one is different enough that I like having both because Tomcat Tours will show you points of interest right in your minimap and only notable loot like mounts, pets, transmog items, etc. It will also include timers for rare mobs, which is a handy note. Wait, oh, sorry, wrong add-on. Anyway, moving on. 
Pawn is another useful set and forget add-on that shows you to varying degrees of accuracy how much of an upgrade a particular piece of gear is. At max level, you can import custom stat weights to really get the most out of this add-on, but when you're leveling, it's good enough to just show you if a new piece of questing gear is an improvement over your currently equipped gear at a glance. If you haven't noticed, that's kind of a theme in this video, taking a lot of the guesswork out of menial tasks and helping you just stay immersed in the new zones, quests, and lore. Speaking of, next up we have Immersion. So Immersion takes the traditional quest system and advances it 10 years into the future, or I guess probably even more than that. Anyway, what this amazing little add-on does is take the quest dialogue and break it into much more digestible segments that get displayed on screen as a talking head box. They're much easier to read and it actually helps with the immersion. It's a huge boon if you're a lore buff like myself, but hate reading the text wall given to you in the normal journal quest text format. Now don't worry either, it doesn't actually remove or change any of the quest text dialogue. What it actually does is it will take the line breaks in the normal journal and use it to split up the quest text into these more digestible segments. Moving on to something a little more combat oriented now, we have threat plates. So there are a lot of nameplate add-ons out there, and depending on what type of player you are, you might like a different one more than I do. But I like threat plates. Why? Because I enjoy tanking, and it's the easiest right out of the box, in my opinion, for me to know when I have aggro and enemies. While it's true that most nameplate add-ons do this, the visual style of threat plates makes it the most obvious. It also has a handy feature that will tell you when mobs are needed for a quest. This add-on also has a ton of depth and automation to it, which you can go over in another video if you'd like. So let me know in the comments if you want to see more of that. So number eight on this list is an add-on called Scrap. Scrap is a super simple but very powerful auto sell and repair add-on. It can be as simple as automatically selling gray items, but it can be set up to automatically sell items of a much lower item level, soulbound equipment that you could never equip, low level consumables, and even automatically repair with or without guild funds. It can even be told to learn what items that you automatically vendor regularly, so it'll do that for you automatically as well. Lastly, it can also delete items with no value, like starting equipment, so that you don't have to do that manually. And finally, we've reached the summit. I mean, the final add-on, which is Minimap Button Button. That's right. It is the simplest and most beautiful add-on on this list. Minimap Button Button adds a Minimap Button Button. It simply removes all those annoying buttons on your minimap and stores them in a small movable folder that you can place anywhere on your screen. When you click it, it conveniently opens any of your add-on settings with the minimap button, but it saves you from having that massive ring around your minimap. And that's my list of the 10 most essential add-ons for the start of Dragonflight. Have any add-ons you think should have made the list? Let me know in the comments so that we can all take a look and hopefully benefit from them as well. I hope this video was helpful and I can't wait to see you in the skies of the Dragon Isles later this month.